Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this video, I want to show you the is blank function. So is blank function is useful in scenarios like those when you want to tackle the blank values or the missing values in your data set. And here in this video, I will show you the configuration of is blank, which is quite straightforward. Along with that, how you can use the is blank with if condition. So it's an another important function because missing values or the blank values are very common and you want to do some sort of a treatment uh, based on, ident first of all, identify those and then replicate the values. So both of these things, we are going to see it in this video. And before that, a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my video, then just for you that this sheet, which is a live Google sheet and the link of this sheet is present in the description. What it has is all of my previous videos, as you can see, I am incrementally adding one by one as I am finding the topic and publishing it. And the, the title is present here in the column A and the link for the relevant video is present in column B. That way, the searching becomes very easy. Otherwise, you can think about 190 videos uh, looking at on, on a channel and finding the relevant one is, is a tedious task. So in this case, I have made it, uh, you know, pretty easy for you where you can come in search and uh, jump to a relevant topic over here. Also, I have uh, sort of highlighted the dashboards, as you can see. So wherever I am putting a dashboard, I am highlighting that so that you can clearly go in that direction because generally it is one of the interesting area of the uh, learners. Okay, with that information, let's go to the Power BI. All right, here we are in the Power BI. And for this, I will going to create a new quick table instead of very long one because in that identifying and uh, not identifying, but looking at a particular row as to where the missing value is, is a difficult. And I think even I don't have a data set which has a missing value because all of these are sample data set. But that's not the case with the real data set. In real data, you will going to have a lot of missing values uh, which you need to tackle. So for this, I will just click on enter data. This will basically open up this new box where I can enter some dummy data. So I will just click on this and say name and I will click on plus and say H. Very simple. And uh, here I will just use couple of names, uh, Vishal, uh, maybe Vinay, I'll make it missing, maybe third name, I will make it let's say 29 and uh, one more and we will say 26 debug and uh, maybe one more as uh, uh, man and we'll make it blank okay we'll give this table a name uh, which is uh, let's say blank blank test whatever you want to do but i am doing the blank test so i am just creating this so think like uh, this is a table which is coming as part of your data and uh, you are having a lot of missing values. Just think about if you have 10,000 rows and you have a lot of missing values, then how would you basically tackle that and keep, keep in mind that scenario, but using this simple uh, five rows table example. Okay, so for that, identifying the missing values uh, is by uh, clicking on the new column. And uh, we will just give a column name as find blank. And simply we will say blank. And first of all, I will just straight forward say is blank. And I will say uh, the name of the column, so which is H. So here I will put the H and click OK. As you would expect, it will give you the true or false. Wherever the blank is present, true is coming. Wherever the blank is not present or a value is there, it is false. Expected output, right? And this is important. Why? Because if you are using this very first time or trying to understand, you should know what is blank is returned. So it's a logical or the information that it is returning. Now I will just show you the if condition, how you can um, do the blank configuration or is blank configuration is in a function. So for that, I will say blank with if blank with if and we will first of all specify the if and then we will say is blank and then we will say h right and uh, so as part of the if condition 
So, we need to close this. Uh, as part of the if condition, the first value is true value. So, if it is true, that means if the value is blank, what do you want to return? Let's say we want to return 0. And otherwise, we want to return the age, whatever the age is, right? So, we'll just do that and click OK, right? So, that way, let's say you want to, I don't know, count the 0 values or maybe some other value that you want to give like a text value or something, even you can give that because if will allow you to do that. That way, you can clearly specify how do you want to treat the uh, the missing values, right? Similarly, uh, over here, as you can see, is, is this every, uh, zero what we have specified. If you want to specify or if you are, let's say, dealing with a sales value, wherever the sales value is blank and you want to specify the average value or the median value, generally that's how you impute the missing values, then you can specify those values as well. So that's something I wanted to show you very quickly as to how you can treat or how you can find the missing values, give them uh, a new value as if you will and, uh, and complete your data set and uh, treat it as per the needs. Let me know if you have any questions. I will meet you now in the next video with a new topic.